For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with redshirt junior defensive lineman Malik Doran. So almost done with fall camp. How would you evaluate it so far? Uh, fall camp was pretty good. Uh, a lot of guys got better out here. I got better myself, and you know we're coming along as a team. How specifically did you get better? Uh, just being consistent every day, just trying to be a technician every day out here with my hands, and uh, just being more attention to detail. What details do you pay attention to? <laughs> just like our playbook, uh, assignment out there on the field, my technique within our playbook. How comfortable do you feel with the playbook? I feel really comfortable. This is my second year in the system. So, um, you know, everybody up front, we're really comfortable with the scheme now. Last year, a lot of guys were thinking too much. I think this year we're really comfortable. What contributes to thinking, overthinking, and why did that stop? Uh, I think just playing a new scheme. Uh, before this new coaching staff came here, we were running a, to a totally different uh, playbook. Now we have a new scheme and um, more offseason, more film, and uh, just less thinking now. How much film does the D-line watch in your room? We watch a lot of film. I mean, we have some older guys. We get the younger guys, and we watch film with them. Coach KU has us coming in early on top of our meetings. So uh, a lot of film watching on our off time. Even when school starts on our off time, lunchtime, we come watch some film. So anytime you're free during the day, you go upstairs and go watch some film. How early does KU make you come in? About an hour, sometimes 30 minutes before, two hours. Wow. His call. <laughs> does it pay off? Does it help? Yeah, it pays off. Uh, him, Coach Nansen, and uh, Coach P, they are just to get up there and watch film. So it's, it's paid off for us. How, what is it like having Clancy and KU for a second year? How does that help you guys as far as the consistency goes? Uh, it helps a lot. I mean, because we know the expectation now. We know what Coach P and Coach KU expect out of us every day. So it just makes it that much easier for us to come out there and compete. What do they expect? Just to, Coach P always says, you know, if it's wiggling, hit it. So, uh, you know, we just go out there and just compete hard. Every chance you get to play, just go out there and show the coaches what you can do. How would you describe KU as a coach? He's a great coach. Uh, he's a kind of he's an intense guy. Uh, you know, he expects us to be professionals, and uh, you know, he expects a lot out of us. How do you be professional, both on and off the field? Just doing the right things, whether it's you know showing up on time to meetings, um, staying off the staying off the uh, staying off and um, you know out of trouble, off the field stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Even having three down linemen. It's kind of been sw the scheme has been switching. Do you know what's going to happen come fall, as far as how many down linemen you have? Uh, well, it all depends on which team we play and which personnel they have out there. Uh, I mean, I would like for us to run more three down, but uh, you know, that's Coach P's call. Probably because you get in there when there's three down linemen. Yeah. You've been in there a lot this week. You've been making some some big plays. How do you feel as far as your comfort goes out there? Like I said again, second year in the system, I'm extremely comfortable. Uh, you know, I'm a guy who's been here for a long time now, so uh, I'm just really comfortable in everything that I do out here. When you have a good week like you have been having, does anything contribute to it, or is it just putting work in over time? Just putting work in over time and just try to keep coming out here and doing it every day and just just working, really. What's it like going up against guys like Viani and, and Chris Brown? Those guys are really good. I mean, it's an honor to come out here and compete against those guys because those might be some of the uh, best guys in our conference that we go against. and. For us to be able to come out here and compete against them every day, it's a, uh, it's a good feeling if you're performing well against them. What have you seen from the freshmen like Marlon and Brandon? Uh, Marlon and Brandon, you know, Marlon came here early. Um, I was really impressed with him, the way he was able to pick up our playbook and pick up on the techniques. Uh, normally as a freshman when you come, you know, your uh, technique is off and, you know, you have a hard time learning. But Marlon is a guy who's learned fast. And uh, Brandon, uh, him, you know, he's a big guy. Uh, I was just, you know, I'm really pleased with his, um, you know, physicality as a freshman. It's really impressive. How would you assess the D-line? What should fans expect when they see the D-line play out there? Uh, I, I feel like they shouldn't expect a more experienced group. Uh, we should, we're, we're going to be a bunch of technicians out there. Guys are going to be assignment detailed and um, guys are going to make plays. What are your goals for this season? Uh, just to be able to contribute to the team in any way possible, stay consistent, and uh, ultimately go to the Pac-12 championship. All right, well, good luck this season. <laughs> Thank you. With Malik Dorton, I'm Keely Yor. For more, check out uscfootball.com.